Hello everybody and welcome to week 8 of the 2019 college football season. We're live from bb and Field in Winston-Salem, North Carolina under the lights for an SEC vs. ACC matchup. Arguably two best conferences in the college football nation. We'll find out who's better tonight. Kentucky, Wake Forest. It should be a lot of fun. For the Demon Deacons, they will look to rebound after last week's dismal loss to rival Duke. For Kentucky, it's anything but. I guess just play spoiler. Because Kentucky's not known for their football. They're known for their basketball. So if they get a win here, hey, hold your heads up high, Wildcat fans. We are just set to go. From Winston-Salem, under the lights. Kentucky fans are ready. The Amanecan fans have been ready. Hope, hope you're ready. Thank you for joining us tonight. Let's kick things off. First play of the game. Kentucky, they lost the coin toss. Wake Forest decided to kick it off. So Kentucky will get ball to start things off. And that is how you get things started if you're the Deacons. Brandon Thomas. Unpressured from the right side. Joel Williams will go down. Now he has his man next to him to his right. That is David Randall. Randall with three yards on the rush. That will bring down a third and 15. Kentucky likes to run fast pace. No huddle offense. They do here and they will do all of tonight's game. That one for Caps. It's out of bounds. He would have been short anyway. Deacons hold the Wildcats to three and out. Richie Miles is back for the Wake Forest Demon Deacons tonight. Give him a round of applause. Welcome him back with all that good stuff. He's been out four weeks with broken ribs. It's good to see he's finally better. Matt Burns here. First catch of the night. Haven't heard his name in forever, it seems like, in the 2019 season. But right there, he gets the passing attack started. First down, I formation from the Kentucky 32. It's going to be a pass. Miles looking. He will go down for the first time tonight. That is Kentucky's D-line doing work. Second to 19, a handoff to Haynes. Haynes up the middle towards the right side of the hash marks. And that will bring up a third and 10. From third and 10 from the Kentucky 32 where they started this four down conversion. Miles, three step drop. Has a man open in Anthony Johnson. He's down to the 10, and the Deacons have a first and goal lined up. Check that. First and 10. They marked it at the 10 and a half yard line. Couple plays later, after a sack, Richie Miles goes down. Third and 14 from the 14. A Miles looking. That one has some heat on it. Finds Kyle Chandler. Unable to pick up the first down, and it's fourth and ten. Send Adam King out for an easy chip shot field goal, and the Deacons have a 3 0 lead, 3 19 to go in the first quarter. Ensuing Kentucky drive. Joel Williams said, We're the Wildcats, and we are going to prey on the week. And the week this drive was the Deacon defense. Right there, Caps inbounds this time, 20 yards. Zach Randall lowers his shoulder. A little ballerina spin to the left at the end. 10 yards. Next play after that. Third and 10. Chance for Demon Deacons to stop Kentucky while momentum's growing. Not happening. That is Spencer Hunter out beating two Deacon safeties. And to the house goes Kentucky. 7 3. However, Travis Jones has his own agenda. If Kentucky can lower their shoulders, so can the Demon Deacons. Travis Jones takes it all the way to the Deacon 48, and that's where Miles, Haynes, and the other Deacons will start the drive. First and 10 from their own 48. Slip screen to the right. Haynes has speed. He has strength. He uses strength. He uses speed. He uses precision. All in that play, 16 yards first down. From the Kentucky 26. Hand off to Haynes, right side of the field, and that's a new set of chains. First down, Wake Forest. Five rushes, 31 yards so far for Wayne Haynes. 
And at the end of one, it's seven three Wildcats. However, Wake Forest is threatening with a drive of their own. Second and seven, nine twenty to go in the second half, second quarter here. First half of the ball game. Matt Burns one more time on second and seven brings up third and inches. And on third and inches, you expect to go to Wayne Haynes or maybe Matt Burns here. Well, if you did, you are correct because that is an HB draw. Haynes gets past the first initial wave of defenders, and he has a first and goal deep in Deacons. 37 yards, 7 rushes, over 5 yards in average so far. This play, 44 yards, 7 plays. I formation, strong, toss, right. Haynes walks in, touchdown, Deacons. And for Wayne Haynes, it's another touchdown on the year. And it's also a 3-point lead. Studio update, the only one this week, Miami, Virginia, in South Beach, Miami, would go on to beat Virginia. So that 10-7 score would hold up and then some. Miami looks to climb the ranks after that win. Five minutes to go in the second quarter here, third and seven. We have just a couple minutes before half. This one picked off. Richie Miles, a little tunnel vision hurt him. They had a three-point lead. They had all the momentum. Wayne Haynes coming by. What are you doing, Richie? You got to keep us in this game. It's not over yet. And was Wayne Haynes right? Williams to Dennis. That's the first time we'll call Jamie Dennis's name. One of the few times, if at all. First and goal. Short field to work with. Williams, quarterback keeper, untouched and un. Provided was the defense of Wake Forest. Everyone bid on the runner, the running back, sorry, and that left Williams with a wide open hole in the end zone. 14 10 Kentucky, they have the ball once again after Deacons go three and out. Caps again. That's a catch, and that's a catch and run. 26 yards for Zach Caps. So far, a player of the first half for Kentucky. Third and four, chance to get off the field for Deacon defense. Zach Rand or sorry, David Randall. Yeah, he's not gonna make it easy on you. First down, maybe a gracious spot given by the referees. They just have to fight through it. 53 seconds left. Timeout, Kentucky. First and ten. Joel Williams deep to Hunter. Somehow Spencer Hunter got a foot down. We'll see on the replay if he did. Remember, all you need in college is one foot. And it looked like he did toe drag. That would lead this. Trevor Burgess, touchdown, Kentucky. 21-10, Kentucky. However, Wake Forest would drive. Use all their timeouts. But from the 10, Richie Miles wasn't happy with one interception. He forces the issue again. That was a bad throw. That was intended for a halt, and he could not make the play. So... At half, 21-10, Kentucky from BB&T Field. Deacons have to have some major adjustments. The number one adjustment right now, Richie Miles. Stop tunnel vision. You have to look around. You have to be aware. You have to throw it away. For everybody else, they're doing their job. Defense probably could get a little better on third down conversions. And a little more safety help would be nice. Other than that, I think the game's going pretty well, but there's still a second half to play here. So, we know the Deacons, they like to keep it interesting all the way through. And they're definitely keeping it interesting with the Kentucky team. They should be handling that 10-7 lead. That was a bad throw. Eight seconds. I know you're out of timeouts. Aim for the sidelines. That was a bad throw. Halftime stats, there you see, pretty even across the board, except for time of possession and turnovers. Wake Forest with a conservative play style, 14 and a half minutes to Kentucky's five and a half minutes, and the turnovers we just talked about them, two nothing in the favor of Kentucky. A little more pass yards, a uh, hair of rush yards for Wake Forest. Otherwise, that's your half. So let's get into the second half. Wake Forest. Maybe Coach Mathis said something to them in the locker room. Maybe he said something to Miles alone that got him fired up because this team came out in a hurry. Wayne Haynes, couple of spins there. Not one, not two, maybe three or four. That's first down. Third and 11, they like to run corner strike on third and a mile, it seems like every time. Well, guess what? Right here they do. 
Miles to Anthony Johnson again. Same result in the first half, just as there. First and 10 from the Kentucky 15. Haynes has speed to burn. He's going to burn it all the way down to the three-yard line, maybe the two-yard line. They roll him at the three. I formation, first and goal. 440 to go. Haynes untouched, and that's a touchdown. Deacons come out firing on all cylinders, take up over half the quarter. We go fourth quarter. Wake Forest adds a field goal. Kentucky still scoreless so far in the second half. 21-20. Williams looking all day to throw. Has a man. It's picked off by Aaron Neely. 101 before this, folks. Joel Williams had about four passes dropped for interceptions. So this can be a five interception game for Joel Williams and the Wildcats. Luckily, though, they are still ahead by one. Wake Forest, they have to they have to optimize this possession. Haynes, he'll do that all day long. That's a good rush of a big chunk of yards. That's a new first down. Second and six, five minutes to go from the 45. Burns, first down to the 32-yard line. Clock moving, Deacons moving. 3.30 to go. Third and 18, they need a big conversion here. It's going to be a snap at one second on the play clock. Miles looking. Has no one. He has to throw it away or run. He decides to run. He gets a yard. And they'll have to punt it away. 320 turns into 240. This is the possession for Wake Forest. You need a stop. You've done it all second half. Just do it again. Joel Williams. First play that you will see on the drive. That is a zero yard completion. Third and ten, it's going to be interesting. They're going to use all this clock here. About two minutes will remain when they snap the ball. Wake Forest, what do you do? Do you blitz? Do you look at the right side with those three set receivers? Do you look at a halfback? Do you look at Williams running? I know it's third and ten, but there's a lot of options Kentucky can run. Five seconds now on the play clock. Three, two, snaps off. Williams has a man of Burgess. Extra help from Wake Forest, and they get it done. Jones, great punt return down to the 39 of Kentucky. Down one, one minute left. Miles needs to step up and be the hero. He has room on the right side. He slides. That's the first down. Down to the 26 of Kentucky. Down to 40 seconds left. Four seconds on the play clock. It's going to be a handoff to Mile or to Wayne Haynes. Sorry, Haynes. Middle of the hash marks gets sent back to the right side. They have time for one more play. 15 seconds and rolling. This time, Haynes, eye formation behind Miles. Haynes, middle of the hash marks. This sets up the game-winning field goal. If it's good, Adam King will be a hero. If not, just clean off the wound, head into next week. Third and six, they freeze Adam King. 41 yards for the win. The snap. The hold. It is shanked off the kick. Will it go? No. It's off the crossbar. And Adam King, for the first time, I believe, this year and all the years that he's been here, has missed not just a field goal, but a game-winning field goal. He shanked it off the kick initially, and he never looked back. He knew it was gone. He knew it was off the bar. Kentucky squeaks out 21-20 out of bb &T. For the Demon Deacons, they've lost two in a row. They need to get back on it. They can still win the ACC Atlantic. It's just going to be very difficult with Clemson, with Louisville, with Virginia, with teams like that. Florida State, Maryland, Boston College. We'll see if they can turn things around this season. That's two straight losses. And that's the third on the year. They fall to three and three. Luckily, this wasn't an ACC conference game. We'll see you next week to see if they can turn things around. Once again, BB&T Field in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, 21-20, Kentucky Wildcats.